What's up YouTube? Jack your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about the 10 shirts you need this fall, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of my fall shirt rotation. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends, like Ernest Harden, salute. So with the fall upon us, it's time to put away those short sleeve polos, those t-shirts, and God forbid, those wife beaters, and start breaking out those long sleeve fall shirts. But which shirts do you need? Which ones would be the most versatile? Which are the ones that are must have? And how can you build a well-rounded shirt rotation for the fall? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. I'm gonna talk about 10 or so different types of shirts you can rock for the fall, and I'm gonna show you my collection and some examples that I have that I like to work in during this season. Now, I'm not saying you need to have all 10, but if you grab five or six, you'll have a great versatile shirt collection that'll get you through the fall. So without further ado, let's talk about the 10 shirts you need for the fall, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of my collection of fall shirts. First up, let's talk about that workwear classic, a denim shirt. Now, the great thing about the denim shirt, you can layer it, you can leave it open, button it up, there's different washes, just like your jeans. And the great thing about today's denim shirts, they come in a wide variety of fits and dressiness. I have ones that are super casual and ones I actually can wear under a suit. Like this one I have from American Eagle. It's a little more loose, relaxed, traditional fit shirt and a nice light wash. But I also have a couple then different washes, but a little more tailored look. Got this one from Banana Republic. It's even called a tailored denim shirt. So this one you'll see me wearing under suits. But I also have this one from Uniqlo, more of a tailored fit, the button down collar. Love wearing this one on its own. And of course, because of its heavier weight, the denim shirt will keep you warm when that fall temperature starts to drop. Now with this denim shirt, like a lot of other shirts we're gonna talk about, I've done lookbooks to give you some inspiration. I'll have the links in the description. Next up, we're gonna move to the ultimate casual fall shirt. None other than a flannel shirt. Now this one we all know about. It's a standard classic. I recently did a great video on how to style a flannel shirt. You can check out right here. I love to grab flannel shirts of different colors, just not your traditional red lumberjack. I have this great red and blue one I got from J. Crew Factory. One of my other favorites from a discontinued line, a few years back, Ralph Lauren had this one called Rugby by Ralph Lauren, great line, wish they never discontinued it. That's where I got this gray and cream one. I also have this slim fit one with the button down collar that I got from J. Crew about a year or two back. I definitely can dress this one up. Of course, if you're gonna have any shirt during the fall, you gotta have that flannel shirt. Next up, let's talk about more of a slept on fall shirt that can give you that 90s throwback feel that's pretty popular these days. I'm talking about that rugby shirt. Like I said, this one gives you that cool retro inspired look, and I think it kind of gives you that cool dad look as well. Now we're talking classic, sporty, and preppy. One of my favorites, this red and blue one I caught from American Apparel probably about six or seven years ago. Now, like I said, this one I think is really slept on, and with the 90s retro looks that have been popular lately, I think you should grab a couple rugby shirts for your fall rotation. Now, of course, as always, I want you to give me your input. Let me know in the comment section what your go-to fall shirts are. Now, of course, so far, we've only been talking about casual shirts, but I want you to run out and grab another shirt that you probably already have or should have. It's time to grab another white dress shirt. Now, here's the thing. During the warm weather, you've been sweating out that white dress shirt. Time to re-up, refresh. It's the ultimate blank canvas. Goes with every tie, every suit. Gotta have that white dress shirt just as important in the fall. Especially if you're anything like me and you sweated yours out during the summer, you gotta re-up on that white dress shirt. But what if you need that shirt that straddles the line between dressy and casual and works in almost every situation? That's when you grab that white Oxford cotton button down shirt. Now I really love the versatility of Oxford cotton button down. You can wear it by itself, tucked or untucked, with a tie under the blazer, super versatile. And I make sure I always keep one in my arsenal. Like this one I got from Target from Goodfellow & Company. Thing only paid about 20 bucks. One of my favorite affordable lines, that Target Goodfellow & Company line. Go check out Target, you'll thank me for it later. Like I said, super versatile, super classic, straddling that line between dressy and casual. You definitely want that white Oxford cotton button down this fall. Next up, I have one of my sleeper picks. One you might not have been thinking of. It's a combination 
of a shirt and a jacket and really helps during the inclement weather when the temperature drops. That's right, I probably already said it, the shirt jacket. Now what I love about this one, it really helps during that transitional season that fall can get. And they come in a variety of weights and fabrics. Now I have several of them, most of them from Uniqlo. Mine a little heavier. I live in Philly, the temperature drops a little crazy in a lot of the country. So I like a shirt slash shirt jacket that'll give me some warmth but stylish at the same time. The great thing about these, you can wear them kind of like a jacket, but also it can be an outer layer and substitute for a shirt when you need one. To me, definitely a slept on shirt for the fall and one I think you should add to your rotation. Next up, I have a shirt that's on the opposite end of the spectrum from that shirt jacket, a lighter material and great for layering. I suggest you grab a chambray shirt. Now I kind of refer to this one as a lighter weight cousin from the denim shirt. You can wear it in similar situations as the denim shirt, but I think it's very good for layering because it's much lighter. And as you're transitioning and the temperature might still be kind of warm, it's a great long sleeve shirt that's more breathable than a denim shirt. Now traditionally, a lot of guys are gonna wear the denim colored one. I happen to have this salmon colored one that's one of my favorite for a little variety since I have so many other denim shirts. Picked this one up from Denim and Supply from Ralph Lauren about three, four years ago. Really loved this one. And like I said earlier, one of the big pluses of the chambray shirt, because how light it is, you can wear it by itself, but it's really key when you're layering under a blazer, under a sweater, and things of that nature. Definitely grab your chambray shirt for your fall rotation. Now, of course, almost all the shirts we've been talking about thus far have a collar. That's why I want to suggest to you the shirt I'm rocking now in a definite sleeper, the band collar shirt. Now what I really love about the band collar shirt, although there's no collar, it still comes off a little spiffier than some shirts with the collar. It's sleek, retro, but modern at the same time. And it's one of the shirts you guys always ask me about when I rock them. Got a light blue one, a white one, a black one. I just love these. They're kind of a blank canvas and they kind of give me a more dressy, kind of sexy look than a t-shirt would. And to me, they even flyer than a lot of shirts with collars. Now you can find these at a lot of places. I grabbed a couple of these from ASOS, a couple from H&M, didn't spend more than 20 bucks. And you'll find a lot of guys might not wear them. And I get a lot of compliments from you fellas and the ladies as well. So if you want a shirt that you're not gonna see many guys coming and going in and set you apart in a great part of your fall rotation, grab yourself a band collar shirt. Now next up, let's talk about a strong, durable, heavier material shirt that I definitely think will work well for you in the fall. I'm talking about a twill shirt. Now the twill shirt is a workwear classic and I love to me, it kind of gives me a denim feel shirt but a little more polished look without that denim taste to it. Now of course this is made of a heavier material than most of your standard dress shirts. And that's one of the great things about it. Like with a lot of these shirts, the temperature is gonna be dropping. You want something a little heavier sometimes. And the twill shirt definitely fits the bill. Now this is one that I've been rocking probably about five, six years that I got from Ralph Lauren. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren twill shirt. Nice heavier material, nice tan color, very great neutral colors for the fall. Really love rocking this one. And just like with a lot of classic menswear items, it has a workwear background. So it gives you that strong, rugged, masculine feel, a lot of warmth because of heavy material. Hands down, I definitely don't think you can go wrong by adding a nice twill shirt to your fall rotation. And last but certainly not least on my list of the 10 shirts you need for fall, we're gonna talk about a shirt that I currently have a hole in my wardrobe. See, I'm not just trying to talk to you guys about shirts you don't have. Sometimes I gotta set my game up too. I'm talking about the long sleeve polo shirt. Now, of course, we all rock the short sleeve year round, but the long sleeve, I think, is slept on. I've been sleeping myself. You can wear it by itself, just like you would its short sleeve counterpart, but I think it's great for layering during the fall as well. It's a great way to have a little polish and it's easy to style. We're all used to wearing a short sleeve polo. Wear this long sleeve polo just like you would the short one. I've actually ordered a couple recently. They'll be coming in soon. And when I do get them, I'm gonna do a lookbook for you on the long sleeve polo. Actually, the only one I have that's kind of close to a long sleeve polo is this camouflage one that I've had for a little while. Can't wear this one all the time, not very versatile. Gotta fill that hole in my wardrobe. So definitely do what I'm doing, run out and grab a long sleeve polo, a great addition to your fall shirt rotation. Okay, so there you have it. The 10 shirts you need for this fall and a quick look at some of my fall shirt rotation. Make sure you let me know in the comments section what your plans are for fall shirts this season. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. Helps the channel to grow. 
And of course, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.